Hello, this is Carrie from Razor Sharp Crafts, and I don't remember which video we're on. 14 maybe? Oh well, the correct number will be in the title. Um, but uh, we are still sitting in Germany. We've been trying to get out for a week now, and no luck. So, um, it's looking like we probably won't get out till possibly sometime in July. Um, but my husband's really trying to get his project car done, so my crafting time has still been very limited. Um, I actually haven't even worked on this since the last weekend, which was the last time I did a video, which is not posted yet. I will work on those, to getting this one and that one posted tomorrow. But, um, the last one we did was when we finished up the cover, or finished making the, co the front and back covers. We haven't decorated them yet. But that will be the next video. What I have decided to do in this one is attach the pages to the binding. Anyways, let's do this real quick. Um, these tutorials are being made for mini album scraps, um, and that's minialbumscraps.ning.com. Um, after you become a member, which it's free to become a member, it's free to swap. We don't ask for any money. We, we I mean, we do have a donations. Excuse me, a donations. Um, button on our screen so if you want to make donations any donations and they entirely go towards paying for the site that's the only thing they go for um i mean but other than that we don't we don't ask for any money for swapping or joining the site or anything it's 100 percent free so um if you're interested check it out and once you're a member you'll see at the top of the page a tutorials tab and that is where you can find all of my videos well for this project anyways and future ones will go there as well so okay let's set this aside and get adding pages or attaching pages so what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach the pages and then we'll, the next video will finish up the cover get it all embellished and add this to the inside and then embellish the cover I think is the way we'll do that or vice versa embellish the cover and then add this and then the um, I guess the final process video will be um, well then no there'll be two more after that probably just uh, doing photo mats for one and the other one will be just We'll just embellish every page all at once. I'll have everything just kind of drawn out the way I want it to go before I even start the camera so it can just be one whole video. But anywho, let's do these. I only got about an hour to craft um, before I got to help put the kids to bed. So, um, And then I'll be watching Harry Potter with my hubby because iTunes had the whole, had all, what is it, eight videos, eight movies? for 60 bucks so we bought them and we watched them through our Apple TV so it might still be going on if you're interested there's an advertisement for Apple <laughs> but uh so yeah we bought them all and we're currently out watching the third one we watched part of it last night but then I was just too tired and wanted to go to bed um which is the prisoner of Alcatraz something like that okay so I am just going to try to figure out the best way to go about this. I don't remember exactly how I did it the last time. I know I made it where it was kind of easy the last time I did it. In the last album there was a way. Sorry if I'm off camera a little bit there. I'm just trying to pry the papers apart. I still have the score tape backing on. So don't think, oh my gosh, she just did that like incredibly easy. No. Because I just kind of want to feel where it needs to be so it's not going to be right on top of the the score because you know you want your pages to kind of move freely and then let's 
have to try this. That went pretty easy. Um, and then I'm just doing that inside of that one. Okay. Oops, I probably shouldn't have peeled that off just yet, but... That page is 100% attached. I think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, there should have been four. Okay. I counted my backing. So there's that one. All attached. That was actually pretty easy. I am going to try to ink in there where that pocket meets this paper. There we go. And I will attach this one in just a minute. Um, I have to get off here just for a second and take care of something, so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. And, um, <laughs> I say I'm back, but this is, like, Thursday, and I think I started this video on Sunday. Um, so, yeah. I can't find my baby wipes, and I got something on my mat here that needs to be cleaned up. Um, so yeah, we got, I got torn away, I got pulled away on Sunday, I didn't remember it was Sunday. And, uh, seriously, where did my baby wipes go? And so, I didn't get back to crafting because it's, I had to get the kids bathed and to bed, and I think I've already mentioned that my husband and I, after the kids go to bed, we've been watching the Harry Potter series. So yeah, and then it's just, it's hard for me to craft with the kids. Um, well, okay, no, it's hard for me to record because I did get some crafting done today. Um, it's just hard to record because the kids get loud and they get screaming and I know y'all would understand, but I just don't like it. So I just work on other stuff. Um, like I had a lady, a fellow spouse, ask me to make her um, a coupon organizer and so I made this for her and the lighting's probably really horrible she wanted pink and glittery and she wanted to say Air Force Wife and then these are pockets for coupons and it holds a book um, what's her name? Laura Dennison at Following the Paper Trail um, she does a tutorial on how to make them and so I occasionally make them for the spouses here in our squadron because they like them so much. And it's a little thing that I do for us here. Um, in the squadron, that's where our husbands all work. And um, your squadron's like your whoops, your squadron's like your family. So um, you get really close with everybody. So when they ask me to do it, I'm just I'm just glad that they like it so much and that they like my crafting so much that I just do it for the how happy it makes me to do it. But okay, anyways. So sorry. 
I got my gummy bears here, which I'm just going to let y'all know. German, German, the German Harbo. I cut the top off so you can't see it all, but I know you've seen these in the States. But the ones you get in Germany, 10 times more flavor, 10 times softer. Way better than the ones you get in the States. All right. So for this video, we are working on adhering pages. So let's get back to it. Um, and yes, very obviously, we have not gotten a flight. The um, first time we tried to get a flight was the 8th of June. We've been trying ever since um, to get one. And just no luck. Um, luckily though we can sit at home and wait because they have everything online nowadays so I've just been following online watching for when they say hey there's flights available that you might possibly be able to get on and then we'll drive up but until then we'll just hang at home craft when we can I hope y'all can see how I'm doing that. I'm putting it around the, uh, like basically placing it exactly how it's going to be while the strips are still in place. And then, <laughs> and now I can't get in there. Excuse my head if it gets in here, but I gotta be able to see here. Alright, that side's adhered down. Okay, I think I went in the wrong way. I think I did the wrong side first. It's alright. This right here is the side I need. Anyways, I'm putting it in place. And then... Pulling off the score tape backing. Hmm. Hold on. Sorry. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing, but I need this closer to me. Alright, there. I just pulled out this side. So just that one side's in there so that I can get in there and get to it. Come to think of it, I think that was how we did the first one anyways. Okay. Now. I think I'm just going to try it this way. I'll probably regret it later. I'm just going to go ahead and take this off. Pull this back. Push that in there. Press it down. It's really hard to like tutorial on this particular part because I mean there's so many different ways that you can put these on and I know there's some people have commented saying that they were just going to use wet glue because they knew that they wouldn't be able to get the score tape to do what you need it to do and that's perfectly fine 100% perfectly fine um, There may be, excuse me, you may be, you may find a better way to do this than what I'm doing. That's great too. Please share it. <laughs> I know, sometimes this stuff can be so tedious. That's so when I make those organizers for people, the part that is just like, oh my god, is cutting all the papers for the, uh, Um, for the pockets, the part that holds your coupons. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's just, it's really tedious. Another thing, make sure before you adhere your pages down. 
and that you're putting them in the correct direction. And you don't want one in upside down. I mean, it'd add more interest. And it would definitely show that it's homemade. But I don't think you'd want it like that. Alright, so there. Okay. So I put it on. And then pull that one out like this. Pull this one out like this. And then I'm taking this one off on this side first. Pushing it in there. Try to keep the form of your spine. Like, don't let it um, like bend like that. And I'm sorry, I haven't even been checking to make sure I'm in frame. I am so sorry if I'm out of frame. I know that drives me nuts when I watch videos and people are all out of frame and they don't notice it. But I know it's easy to do too. There we go. It's three pages on, y'all. Okay. So I guess to make this easier, I'm just going to put this one in on its first side. Rather than slip them all in there the way I've been. Oh, it's getting harder now that I'm on the back half. And, okay, it really doesn't matter if you, um, uh, if you mix, miss up, yeah, miss up. If you mix up your pages, like, if you don't put them on in the order we made them, because we didn't, sometimes people do, but we didn't, um, like, do corresponding pages. And what I mean by that is, Gosh, that one's being a pain. Using my chin to hold the book up. Alright. And what I mean by that is, like, we didn't make sure that this page matches this page. I mean, actually, they are very different. That doesn't bother me at all. I like that, actually. To me, it adds more interest. Okay, and then we'll take this one off. So as I mentioned that my husband and I have been watching the Harry Potter series, we're not like fanatics. I read the first book when I was going to school for elementary education. So I, uh, I did my, that was my major and then my minor was in English because I wanted to do primarily English teaching so I did a lot of um, English Lit and stuff like that classes as well. Well, actually when I first started going to school my major was secondary education to teach high school. But then I realized the attitude kids had these days when they're teenagers, I was just like, there's no way I could deal with that. Um, so that's why I switched to, to elementary. And, um, but anyways, I had to take a children's lit class, and that's when I read the first book. And I watched the first movie after I read the book. One day it was on, I had Dish, and one day it was on the Dish, so I watched it. But, um, we just, we bought him for our son because he really likes Harry Potter. He's read all the books. But we've decided to watch them as well, so. Um, but we're on the the Half Blood Prince. Sorry, my phone. And I have to say, it's pretty interesting. We only watched about two thirds of it last night, because at that point it was like 10:30, and my husband wanted to go to bed, because he gets up at like 4:30 every morning. Well, 
That's when the alarm starts going off. He doesn't usually get up till past five. Okay, just making sure that it's not an important message from my phone. I get one on occasion, you know. <laughs> Seem like it doesn't. Alright. So So anyways, that's uh I've been enjoying that. It's actually a pretty good little series. And even enjoyable for adults, you know. Sounds like my four-year-old's taunting my one-year-old. It's daddy's night to deal with them and I'm crafting, so. And there we go. Oh my god. Are y'all getting excited? Because it's starting to look like a book. There we go. Voila. I'm not going to put it in the book yet because um, I want to decorate the cover of the book before the pages are in there because like for decorating the cover these are just a bunch of cutouts that I've done I don't know what I'm using yet but when I'm decorating the cover it's easier like if you can lay it out like this sometimes to do stuff with it so and I picked up a whole bunch of this cream colored let's see it is cream white cardstock. That's what I'm going to use for the photo mats with a craft cardstock backing. Um, so, I got all the pages in, on, attached, whatever. And uh, so I think I'm going to end this video now. And um, when I come back, we're either going to be embellishing this or embellishing this. I don't know which yet. But, um, or we maybe. I've decided um, for the. Uh, um, what do you call it? I've decided for the photo mats. I'm going to show you how I make one. But then the rest I'm going to make off camera. Because honestly, it's just a whole bunch of cutting paper and inking the edges and attaching them together. It's, it's just, to me it'd be a really extremely boring thing to watch. And I'm trying to find, oh it's right here. This punch, I ordered it through Hobby Lobby because, you know, I'm in Germany so by the paper studio but I ordered it right off of Hobby Lobby so you might be able to pick one up at your local Hobby Lobby or um, you can order it online they have different ones but this is the one that I ordered and this is what I use for my um, what do you call it photo mats see it punches like that and then you stick the photo under this slice and back out through this little slice and then you don't have to glue your photos into your book and you do just do that on all four corners like all four corners of your photo mat and it'll hold a picture great and um, what I've found with this one I don't know about other ones you would have to experiment yourself but I found for this one that you have to make it three eighths of an inch larger than the picture. So I'm making this this book is going to be for standard four by six photos. So all of my photo mats are going to be four and three eighths by six and three eighths. Chomp these edges and then they'll fit a four by six photo perfectly. So with that said, I am going to end this video for now and uh, come back with the next one in a bit. 
Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Bye bye.